and welcome to our live stream at this hour. I'm Yu Yang in Zhuhai City, Guangdong Province. Today we are going to have a helicopter ride while taking a best view of the city of Zhuhai. During the tour, we also have the chance to take a look at the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge while exploring the development of China's general aviation industry. So first, let me introduce our guide, who is Mr. Tie Mo. And he's also the captain of China Southern Airlines General Aviation, the Power Light Patrol team. Welcome to our show, Mr. Tie. Thank you Hello. so much. Hello, Hello everyone. My name is Tie Mo. Thank you so much for joining our program today. We are now at the Jojo Airport. Could you please give us a brief introduction to our airport? What are the available flights? We are one of the important bases of the navigation. And we have 20 more helicopters of different models. They are produced by the European countries and also Russia and the US, etc. For example, we have the S9L model. It's the largest carrier of the workers for the drilling platforms. We can carry 19 passengers and also two pilots. In total, 21 persons carried by this helicopter. It's different from what we have considered as a conventional model of the helicopter. And the cost of construction is over 200 million RMB. And it's also been used as the presidential plane of the ex-US president. It's very comfortable. It has its own edges. And today, it's also the most advanced model for the transportation of drilling men. So can we get on board? Yes, of course. Now we are inside the cabin of this helicopter, as we can see. That is totally different what we have found out in the traditional helicopter. As we can see here, we can stand up thanks to this very high seating height. It's very generous room, and it's also air conditioned. Whether it's very cold or very hot outside in northern or southern part of China, it's always a very pleasant trip on board. And you can also check out those seats. It's very comfortable and very generous room. It's a little bit like the civil aviation. And we have a total height of the ceiling of more than 1.7 meters, maybe 1.8 meters. This makes us really comfortable to be able to walk around. And we can also have a try on the seat. Usually, who would be the passengers on board? For this helicopter, it's being used for the shuttling of the workers for the offshore drilling platforms. So for those people commonly visiting this helicopter, they are the workers on the drilling platforms. We give the 24-hour guarantee of the services. We can do the transportation of the materials and also assist the shifting of the workers. And I think this will make their work much more efficient due to the helicopter. We can make the trip easier. Maybe we can go and check out the cockpit. And we can see that the room is limit is relatively limited in space, but we can still find many similarities as the others, like the navigation TFDs. Could you please give us, first of all, an introduction to this cockpit? It's the fourth generation, the glass layout, very advanced one. We have five grains here. We can do the coupling, for example, between the navigation and also the meteorological radars and also the warning system. We can also activate the other equipment systems to give more assistance to our pilot. We have the motor monitoring system and many other systems that are really advanced ones. And also for this one, we have the CVR, FDR, all those recorders of the data known as the black box that can record all the undertakings within this cabin and the voices, the sounds inside the cockpit. We also have the Q&R. 
system to record the quality. As we can see that this helicopter is much more high-end and advanced than the commonly seen helicopters. Usually, we put the pilot to the left and the other side is reserved to the co-pilot. Is that so with our um, current model of the helicopter? Actually, we have another classification. It's the PF and PNF the ones that is in function and in non-function status. If we are flying upwind, we can have a better quality of the flight, and it depends on our mission. If we would like to have a patrolling on the grid network, if we have to check out the networks to our right hand side, we have to put the pilot to the right seat. And sometimes when we go navigating above the sea, then we have to put the pilot to the left sea. So it depends on the mission. And we have to guarantee the vision scope for our pilots. Yes, of course, the vision is always one of the top priorities for our pilots. Thank you so much for sharing us these interesting knowledge and the facts. And I know that today it's not this particular one that we're about to board. And our Mr. Tia, our guide, would like to give us the direction to the one that we are going to try out. Over there, you can see a group of workers for the drilling platforms. They are ready to board. The typhoon has just passed, and these workers, they are about to join again their drilling platforms. This is so cool. Their shuttling vehicle costs 200 million yuan. How much time does it take for them to get to the drilling platform? Usually for the helicopters, we can travel each time for four hours. And this time, the destination is 170 nautical miles away from the Jojo Airport, and it's about 300 kilometers away. That's very long, and we have to take one and a half hour during this trip of the helicopter. And I believe that with the further development of the general aviation, more people would join their working position by helicopter. Yes, indeed, because there's no traffic jam in the mid-air. And today we're about to ride on the Bell 407. What are the features of this one? Bell 407, it's a product of the Bell Company of the US. It's a lightweight helicopter. It's been widely used as the tool for the medical rescue, air sightseeing, and explorations. It's multifunctional and it's all very Good example for the safety guarantee. We have five passengers in the rear cabin and two seats for our pilots. And for the motor, for the engine of this one, is produced by the Rolls-Royce. It's a kind of Rolls-Royce flying in the mid-air, and the cost of this one is much higher, more than 20 million RMB, and it's really high-end. And one interesting fact about this helicopter is that the gate is transparent. And through this transparent window, we can do sightseeing. It's just like the roof window with our vehicles. This one is really suitable for the sightseeing. And for the sightseeing in the air, it's not the mere function of that. We can also use it for the medical emergency response and also the rescues. It's very functional, it's very secure and safe. It can help us to save a lot of people's lives, a great help to our work. So are we ready to go? Let's go.
And now we are on board with this bow 407. We are off the ground. So, Mr. Tia, could you please give us an introduction about the takeoff procession? We don't have the wheels. We will do the air taxi and we will reach the runway. We are about one or two meters away from the ground. As we can tell, this current flight is very stable and our pilot is doing his job. In the meantime, it's very quiet, very suitable for the commercial trip, sightseeing and also the emergency response and rescue. This is a highly performing helicopter with very generous room inside the cabin. This helicopter has been widely used in the whole world for the emergency rescue, the aid, and also the sightseeing, commercial trips, etc. For our company, we use it to do the investigation and the checks of the grid network for electricity, especially in the southern part of China. In the past for one worker, he can only check out four to five towers of the electricity wires. And today, thanks to this helicopter, we can do 300 and more per day. We have um, multiplied the efficiency by more than 30 times. I would also like to show to everyone, with this Bell 407 model, we have really generous room inside the cabin. Actually, it's a long seat for three persons. We still can squeeze in one more person between us. How many people will you keep on board during your daily duty? We use it to check out the wires for electricity. We can use the infrared detector and also the camera. Held by one person, we have two pilots, and in the rear cabin, we have one other person. So two in the front, two in the rear cabin, inside, inside the helicopter, we have four people. We can use the infrared detector to check out the dysfunction of our high voltage wires of electricity. If there is the abnormal temperature, then it will be captured by our detector. We can also use the radar, uh, the radar of the laser. We can use it to roll out the risks of danger. So any problems will be detected in advance. It can lower the blackout risk for our people living in the city. So this one could be used not only for sightseeing, but also for the guarantee of the daily power supply in our city. Now, what is the height of the helicopter? Maybe two meters. Two meters only. But now I feel that we are quite far away from the ground because under the cabin there is still a set of the sleigh. So what I mean by two meters away from the ground, I start the calculation with the sleigh, the bottom of the sleigh and until the ground. But you are calculating starting by the vision level. All right. Today we are planning to see the statue of the goddess of the fishing and also the Hong Kong Macau Zhuhai Bridge. What is the height planned for our trip? In the high demographic density area, we have to be really vigilant. We don't want to harm their normal life or normal work. We don't want to do any negative impact on their work and life. We have to see in real time to see whether there are people concentrated in that area. We have applied for 150 meters. So at a height of 150 meters, we can see very clearly that Statue of the Goddess and also the Hong Kong, Macau and Zhuhai Bridge. And what's more today, it's a beautiful day. It's really a wonderful moment for us to take a ride in the helicopters. And now we are looking for a correct spot on the runway. And once we receive the order of the commanding tower, we can take off directly. And today we are about to head towards the northern direction. We need to take the flight in an upwind manner this will significantly increase the stability of the flight and also guarantee the safety of our flight. And this airport is a very busy one. 
Could you please tell us the frequency of the takeoffs and also the landings of the helicopter? Our airport is very well located in this Hong Kong Macau Zhuhai area with the highest frequency of the flights. Three kilometers away, we have the airport of Macau. The other side of the bridge, we have the Shenzhen Airport, Hong Kong Airport, and also the Bayun International Airport of Guangzhou. Those are world class airports. So we have rather busy traffic for aviation here in this area. And for Zhuhai City, this airport is located in the center of the city. And for the Jiuzhou Airport, it's one of the major aviation sites for our company. Okay, now I received the order. We are about to take off officially. We can do this gesture, signifying that we're about to take off. Okay, everyone, off we go. So this is a rather familiar gesture. We've noticed in the past footage that we have for someone on the ground showing this gesture to the pilot then. There's the takeoff. When we release the flight, we will give this gesture to the pilot. In the internet world, we have already noticed the GIF photos of someone doing that very handsome gesture. For all those gestures, they are needed each time when we release the aircraft. Now, as we can see that we are flying over the sea, and we are following the middle road of couple, and we're about to see that statue, famous statue of the goddess of fishing of the Zhuhai city. This is also one of the symbolic landmark of this city of Zhuhai. On the ground, we can feel the grandeur of that statue, and now it looks a little bit smaller. But this symbol tells us the story of this city of Zhuhai. And here we have the local legend saying that thanks to the goddess of the fishing, we can always have very safe trips. In the coastal area, we know that many people they are believing in the Mazu goddess. What's the difference between the two goddesses? For Zhuhai city, the people here, they believe in the goddess of the fishing, and the statue is holding one pearl. The other side is the road of the couple. Just below our helicopter is the road of the couple. It's very romantic name. It's of a length of 55 kilometers. And currently, the municipal government is still planning a further extension of the road. The road stretches on the seashore, and we also have another very beautiful infrastructure, one very beautiful building just located by the wonderful sand beach. And you're always welcome to have a personal visit here. Thank you so much, Mr. Tia, for your introduction. And now we are flying ahead along this road of the couple. We have passed one port. We're about to join the Grand Opera of Zhuhai City. I can almost see that complex of the Grand Opera of Zhuhai. Amazing building. The official name is the Zhuhai Opera, but we also give the nickname to this building the shell of the sun and the moon. Because when you look at the shape, you immediately understand that the two buildings look just like the shells. For the Grand Opera of Zhuhai, is the only opera built above the sea. 
We have started the construction in 2001, and later on, we have put it into operation. Here, you can not only find the Grand Opera, you can also find the museum and the exhibition hall for culture and also for urbanism. Now, we have in front of us this featured building called the Grand Opera of Zhuhai. In 2020, this building has been awarded the prize of Zhan Tianyou, the highest level prize for the construction projects in China. You can see the beauty of these complex of building and also its harmonious existence with the surrounding environment. Have you ever come to this grand opera for a show? Yes, of course. And it's very popular among the citizens. What about that show you have followed? I have followed one play. It's the first time for me to see a play. Inside, we have a marvelous design to give us the best quality of the vision, the sound, etc. And I also heard from my colleagues that the musicals are also of highest standard inside. It's different from what we can watch online or on TV. And now I'm wondering what it is like to be inside the opera. I hope that someday I can have that opportunity. I'm very curious about the interior design. And during the night time, you can see the lighting system and also the light shows. For example, during the national holiday, you can see the light shows with the patterns like the national flags and also for the Mid Autumn Festival, you have other patterns. It's also a venue for the cultural exchanges of our people. You can find the shows of different kinds, but also the artistic festivals for the traditional holidays. And here we can also do the presentation of the revolutionary spirits. Now we're about to go back to our airport of Jojo, and then we can have a second destination to check out, which is the Hong Kong Macau Zhuhai Bridge. Just now we have encountered some turbulences. Yes, when we take the civil aviation, usually we can also hear from the radio system that we're about to experience some turbulences. And for these bumps, it's also due to the airflow. But since we are now inside one helicopter, which is much smaller in size in comparison with the other flights of the civil aviation, so here we can feel stronger turbulences. Imagine there is a piece of leaf flying in the mid-air than when there's the blow of the wind. The leaf can be vibrated in a more violent way, the same philosophy. You can also see the beach, the swimming area, and this part is our Jojo Airport again. You can see three models of that helicopter we have introduced in the very beginning of the program. The value of each unit is 200 million RMB. Now those helicopters are used for the shuttling of the workers for the offshore drilling platforms. Previously, when we took off from the Zhouzhou Airport, immediately we fly off the ground. We don't need any taxi. So for that Zhouzhou Airport, even with quite limited surface of land, we can already satisfy the needs of all those helicopters. For helicopters, we don't need too much room for the takeoff. We can do a static suspension. We can even fly backward. This is one unique advantage of our aircraft. We can use some winch to do the 
emergency aid of our people in risk. We can also do the delivery of the materials. You can also hand down some buckets. For example, when there's a mountain fire, you can use the water held by these buckets to put out the fire. You can also do the other jobs thanks to the air dynamics. For many years, we've been serving companies like the Snook and also the cities like Zhanjiang and Sanya and Huludao. We give them the rescue services. In July, this year during one accident, we were dispatched there in the in the shortest delay, we have also joined some fire rescue missions. We heard some orders. By the other side, we can see that Grand Bridge connecting Hong Kong, Macau, and Zhuhai. The project has been proposed in 2009. And in 2017, we have completed the construction. And in 2018, we have put this Grand Bridge into operation. With this Grand Bridge, we can connect the three cities. The total length is 55 kilometers. We have six lanes, two directions, and the design speed is more than 100 kilometers per hour. This is a very huge size of project for construction, and it's very well known in the world thanks to its cutting edge technologies applied. Starting by the first day of December 2018, the vehicles can realize the free circulation across the bridge. And after the outbreak of COVID-19, we have exempted the toll fee for all those vehicles traveling past the Hong Kong Macau Zhuhai Grand Bridge. To the side, you can also see our bridge even at a height of 150 meters away from the ground level, we can still clearly see that bridge connecting Hong Kong, Macau, and Zhuhai. It's also binding together the economies of different regions and cities. It can bring us more hope for the future development. Have you ever tried this bridge? Not yet, because we are doing a special job. Each time when we leave the mainland, we have to first of all hand over the application. And currently, due to COVID, we have to be more vigilant. And you are based in Zhuhai City. Have you ever witnessed the stronger ties among the compatriots in the three cities? Do you have any plan to visit Hong Kong or Macau as they are in the future? Yes, for some of the colleagues, during the day they can realize a visit to the other nearby regions like the Hong Kong SAR and Macau SAR. There are also many heavy load trucks traveling through this bridge. I'm deeply convinced that the successful completion of the construction of this bridge has also set up a tie connecting the people of the three places. We can also learn from the SARs, talking about the economies. Today, we have our own advantages with the city of Zhuhai. It's very close to the Hong Kong and Macau SAR, especially to the Macau SAR. For the Macau SAR, it's very famous for the lottery. And 
the gambling industry, there are also many souvenirs and snacks. Over there is the Grand Lishboa building. Yes, over there you can see the tower of Macau and also the Grand Lishboa building. If you have a very good vision, then you can see that picture. Currently, thanks to the completion of the construction of the Hong Kong Macau True High Bridge, people can have closer ties and their daily life has become more convenient. I have some friends who are currently working in Hong Kong SAR, and because the local real estate price is really high, so they have decided to settle down and buy a house in the Zhuhai city. Then every day they can do this shuttling between the Zhuhai and Hong Kong SAR. In the mid-air, we can see here we don't have a very high concentration of the population. It's a very comfortable city. Still, we can see some of the boats. Are they fishing boats or the sightseeing boats? Those are fishing boats. The fishermen, they will make a departure here and then come back to the mainland. There are also some shuttling boats connecting the Hong Kong, Macau, and the Zhuhai. They will go under the Hong Kong, Macau, Zhuhai Bridge. Over there is that one, the fishing boat. Yes, that one nearer to us. A little bit far away, some of the boats, they are doing some digging work. And you can go to the Shekou port in 15 minutes. I really admire your vision. You can see really far away. In the very beginning, I only noticed that nearest the boat. For that boat, very flat one, it has a cabin to the rear part of the boat. And there's another one with the white tailing. It's the shuttling boat connecting Shenzhen and Zhuhai. One more question, Mr. Tie. For the helicopters and also for the civil aviation flights, they are really demanding for the air condition, for the weather conditions. For our helicopters, we can only reach a certain height and we are less resistant to the high wind and we are also very reliant on the vision capacity of our pilots. So the visibility is very important. More than three kilometers, that is the baseline. And also for the thickness of the cloud, if the clouds, they are accumulated at a very low level, then it's very dangerous for us to take off the flight because immediately when we go off the ground, we are inside the clouds and then we can see nothing. And the vision is the top priority for our flight. Two more buildings, the museum, local museum of Zhuhai and also the exhibition hall of urbanism in which you can read out the history of the whole city. Over there is another park called Haitian. Just completed last year, you can see large scale of the forests as well as a fall. We have the coastal park and the Haitian park and Xiangshan Hu Park. 
We have many of these beautiful parks by the side of the sea and wonderful place for vacation. Just now we have mentioned the influence of the weather conditions on our helicopter. For helicopter, do you need any parameters or the panels to guide the flight? In most of the scenarios, for example, when we do some hanging, when we do the rescue work, we have to use our own eyes to make the judgment. For example, when we carry out the first aid program and the rescue program at sea, we have to get the people trapped at sea level up and into the cabin. And for the other models, for example, the S92, used for the shuttling transportation of our workers for drilling platforms, they have the panels so that even in less satisfying weather conditions, they can still realize the takeoff and landing, like yesterday afternoon and earlier this morning. Thanks to that wonderful panel system, the navigation system, that model of helicopter can still guarantee their flight. In many films, we have witnessed already the utilization of the helicopters to save people's lives. Could you please share with us a personal story experience of your rescue work? For our unit of work, we have been working on the site for more than two decades. For the emergency rescue program, we have saved more than 1,200 people, and we have completed more than 3,000 hours of flight. I'm now a pilot and also the operator of the winch. For example, at the helicopter, there is the installation of the winch where our rescuer is ready, we can lower this rescuer to reach the person at risk and then we bring both of them up and then we bring them to the ground. I can still recall that one day there is a fishing boat losing the power engine in the typhoon day. And when we reach the accident site, the small boat is almost sunken. Only one small part of the boat is still above the sea level, and that fisherman is grasping that remaining part, and immediately we have um, fetched that person up into the cabin. If we were half an hour late, in that case, this person would just be killed by the sea, wa sea waves. And thanks to your job today, we can have greater more security. Of course, as ordinary people, we have to respect all the rules, but thanks to your responsibility and your duties, we are more secured. Today, we are protected not only by the goddess of the fishing, but also by our side. It's so reassuring. Everyone would do his or her own job. We will try to protect ourselves and steer clear from the danger. And in the meantime, because we have you, we are so assured. One more question for you. We are about to kick off officially the 2022 Air Show China. What is your expectation? I'm a big fan of the military industry, for example, the J20. I'm really looking forward to that J20 exhibition during the show. Wow, wonderful. I didn't expect that you were also a fan of the military industry, and I think many people would also look forward to that exhibition just like you do. Not only for J20, we also know the Y20 as well as the B6. 
Do you have any knowledge about the others? For the Bomber 6, it's like a big guardian of our country. It can protect us from the threatening moves of the other countries. And for the Y-20, it's independently developed by our country. It's a heavy lift aircraft used for the transportation of soldiers and materials. And in many cases, we have used that model to do the overseas evacuation. That's also one pillar of our military industry. In the meantime, from Zhuhai City, we have produced 8,600. Another name is Kunpeng in Chinese. It's also independently developed by China. It's the sixth model of amphibious aircraft used for both sea and also the ground services. For example, for firefighting. And now we have successfully made the landing. And during that landing, what are the important points? When we go nearer to the ground, first thing we are nearer to the obstacles. And then when we go down, the wings would bring down the airflow. The airflow would first of all reach the ground, and there will be a rebouncing of that airflow, which would reach the body of the helicopter. So during this moment of the landing, our pilots have to be really attentive. They have to be 100% focused. And we made successful and very comfortable landing because we have wonderful and professional pilots today with us. Yeah, I even didn't notice that landing moment. During this ride in the air, we have witnessed the beauty of the statue of the goddess of the fishing, the Hong Kong Macau Zhuhai Bridge, as well as the Grand Opera of Zhuhai. We hope there's a brilliant future waiting for the city of Zhuhai. So now we have already made the landing. What is the special feeling of today's ride in the air? First of all, you can see it's a cloudy day. But luckily, we have rather high levels of the clouds. Sometimes we think that due to the mist and also the cloud, we cannot see the 100% of the beautiful scenes of our land, but we are very lucky to have two experts of the pilots. And you've been flying for more than one decade. Which trip is the most memorable one? I think all those trips, they are unforgettable. But I can still share with you one day I was the co-pilot, and we were flying in a typhoon days. And we were among the late flights. And we have noticed during the trip a big scale of the thunderstorms and also the cloud. Due to the weather conditions, we cannot rely on our automatic navigation system. And we have to rely on the capacities of our pilots, and we have decided to make a detour. I can still recall that we have the thunders shining just by our side and the roaring of the thunders, but we have nailed that very safe trip. So by then you understand that we have to respect the rules and also show our respect to the life. We have several bars on the shoulder. The last bar is the symbol of responsibility. We are responsible for ourselves, for our family, but also for all the passengers on board. And today we have the 
owner and the chance to be accompanied by Mr. Tia, the captain, to have this wonderful air ride. For example, we've seen the Hong Kong Macau Zhuhai Bridge, the statue of the fishing goddess, as well as the grand opera of the Zhuhai. And this is a very busy airport of Zhouzhou. Every day we have the helicopters landing and the taking off here for the rescue work for sightseeing or for the transportation of the workers for offshore drilling platforms. By 2025, there would be more than 3,500 flights and aircrafts for the general aviation. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much, Mr. Tia, for being our guide today. And I'm also very thankful to your two pilot colleagues. You're always welcome to visit our site again. And for our audience, you're also welcome to have a air ride. Well, that's all for today's live streaming. Actually, today we are paying visit to the Jiuzhou Airfield Airport. This is one of the most important airports for the general aviation industry. Today we are paying visit on the air to the, some landmarks here in Zhuhai City. And of course, we have taken a look of the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. And at the same time, we have exploring the development of China's general aviation industry. In fact, by the end of 2025, China is planning to input over 3,500 airplanes in the general aviation industry. And we believe the future for China's general aviation will be quite bright. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.